Davids, the scorer on his debut. Well, although his club, Neath, haven't met the tourists, he himself turned up as a spectator at one or two of their games, and so he will be familiar by now with the players Fiji choose for this match. They've put the brilliant Jimmy Damu at fullback in order to include Mo Nabati on a wing and thus give themselves dynamic speed at all points of the back division. And they, in turn, will be neatly served by a half-back pair that we've come to respect. In Hughes is fit after his wrist strain to contest the lines out, and Teleni leads from number eight. For Wales, Levin Boyne is back after a whole season's absence from international play to partner Rob Ackerman, the defence strongman in midfield. But one withdrawal from the chosen team is that of Phil Lewis. His berth on the right wing goes to Mark Titley, now of Swansea. Ian Eidman of Cardiff is back at tight head prop. Mark Davis, who last played for Wales against Ireland in 1982, he comes into the back row. Terry Holmes continues as captain of his country. The referee, Mr Hilditch, who's uh, had some international experience. A year ago from now, he was doing Scotland against Australia. Paul Thorburn is the man deputed to start the game for Wales. Perhaps we're to expect a long kick. And the ball being used for the first time ever in a representative match in Wales. An international match. A white ball, that's the one that the players like to grip. And on this slippery surface, after the heavy rain we've had this morning, the players are going to appreciate that. Some of the rain was very heavy indeed. And um, indeed, the smaller ground next door, the Cardiff ground, the rain is lying on the surface. And it's only the magnificent carpet of grass here on the national ground that's soaked it all up. Wales paying the compliment of awarding full caps to their team against Fiji, which has Jonathan Davis starting this move, supplying Coburn, who tries to make to break the tackle of Vama and fails. The ball's in touch. Mark Titley called in to the Welsh side yesterday. Number 14, his comeback in the red jersey. Phil Bennett is watching with me. Yes, nice to see Wales attacking early on. But you can see the Thorburn has the ball, and there's the clash gone down there, and I think it's the left wing, Tabula, it looks like, who took that heavy tackle. Joe Tarka, Fiji's manager, a little concerned, no doubt, about an injury so early in the game. I can see that Keith Haas, the, um, the medical official travelling with the party, wants to take him off. The crowd is sympathetic, and they're saying to Tabula, we've enjoyed your play on the tour. Kumbu is warming up, waiting for permission to come on. Meanwhile, 15 Welshmen attack 14 Fijians on their 22. Jonathan Davis, a drop of goal. Well charged out by Gale, number 7, and Zama, 12, comes out of the 22 for Fiji. They reach their 20, their 10 meter line where Seleni supplies Rakai, but Mon Nabati on the Fijian right can't get hold of it. Arthura is in trouble, 10. That's very rash indeed, and Lao Lao is in big trouble. That's Fiji's 22 again. Paolo, 9. This is uh, Jimmy Jamu. It was Jonathan Davis who got hold of him. The action within Fiji's 22. The whistle goes. This is a precious start by the Welsh, Phil Bennett. Yes, they've taken off West and Essie finished on Tuesday. They've really got them inside the 22. Fiji throw in any kind of ball about the field, and Wales tackling very well and keeping them pinned down there. The referee hasn't noticed Kumbu yet, has he? Yes, he signals <laughs> Fiji's replacement. I wonder if he's going to full back. It could be that Jimmy will... Uh, yes, it seems to me likely that Kumbo will play at full back. Where he did against Newport. To some effect, Jonathan Davis. Good break. Good tackle by Nabati on him. And Fiji is still in big trouble. Arthur is trying to get them out of it. Touch. That's this delicately built standoff half who's been gliding through Welsh and Irish defences in these last five weeks. Let's 
save Wales throw to Noster. And that's his timing. Remember the lower tra trajectory throw, which the Fijians are not quite so keen on. Billy James of Aberavon did well. Holmes attacked. He's tackled by Arthur, but there seemed to be obstruction on Hattie. The referee let it pass. Uh, remember, he can have assistance this afternoon from touch judges. Big gap on the blind side, and Terry Holmes shoots off. Now, they put him on his number 11, Adley. He goes there, and there he tumbles over. It might have been accidental. The tap down is by Phil Davis. The peel is by Perkins. Holmes pulls in the Fijian midfield. That's Fiji's goal line. Wales threaten it severely, and Pickering's ready to be an emergency. Scrum half, while Billy James seeks the try. As Perkins scored it, but uh, Hilditch is very close. He can't see enough to award a try. This is certainly the severest start the tourists have experienced at the hands of any opponents on this tour. Now, there's, there's miles of space on the narrow side, which Holmes might use, or Jonathan Davis, and only one man, Nabati, defending it. A nod from Holmes to Jonathan Davis. The scrum is going down right over the goal line of Fiji. The danger is the Fijians may collapse the scrum and yield a penalty try. Paolo's gone in. And the award. What is it? Is it a penalty or is it a try? It's a try to Bill Davis. Wales's number eight scores his first international try. The man from Planetley puts Wales 4-0 up. So all the early pressure should be rewarded by six points. Corbin slides over the conversion, and the Welsh lead by six points to nil. All very satisfactory, Phil Bennett. This is going to be their big problem all afternoon. Fiji, how can they control this Welsh shove? Excellent ball, and there's the second shove coming in. And look for good control by Phil Davis. He's over the line there. Perfect try. A try for number eight. The propping we can see in this half. Number three for Wales, Ian Eidman, coming back after an injury. Dropped him out of the Welsh side last season. And he's propping against Volavola. Holmes goes behind the feet of his number eight on the halfway line. Jonathan Davis into space. Placement Kumbu finds it difficult to deal with. It's interesting, Phil Bennett. They've been playing on dry ground throughout the tour. They don't like the grease on top. Oh, Kumbu's just come on. Good tactical play by Jonathan Davis because he pushed it wide with a new full back coming on the field. But it's good play with the old Welsh team. They've got the Fijians under pressure and they won't leave them off the hook. Can Robert Norse to take this? throw cleanly, it's a Welsh throw, that's Hughes, the Fijians expert, and Wales throw short, Holmes goes to the line, and scores! Two tries to Wales, and Terry Holmes, his eighth try for Wales, and absolutely typical work by Holmes, a little bit of depth, footwork, and sheer force, sheer strength. A left bit tribute to John Perkins here because he took that beautifully in the short of the line and the rest is sheer Terry Holmes' brute strength. Look at him barging his way over. He's going to score a try. Nobody's going to stop him. Good feeling for the captain. 14 and a half minutes in. The conversion a little bit out of Torben's range. So uh, a drop kick restart. Jonathan Davis making that ball dead, almost on the spot, I should think, where he scored that international try against England, remember, back in April. Now, Wales have spread players, quite unusual uh, on both sides of the, the dropout situation. But it's still the forwards that Jonathan Davis is nursing. Fiji do well to take that one. Oh, out helping the backs is Ngale. That's Athura. That's Pickering for Wales. That's Terry Holmes. Paolo is the Fijian who's back. Challenged by Titley. Tackle by Titley. Phil Davis. Straight from the left. They need to 
to move it now. It's going to be a run-in for Hudley. This is tremendous rugby by Wales, and really they are holding the Fijians in a pit set which allows no counter-attack. Hadley, Adrian Hadley becomes the third try scorer. Good play by Kerry Holmes, putting the ball down, making the Fijians turn and chase back there. And it is very greasy, let's make that point, it's rained very heavily here today at Cardiff. Paulo's there, and there he slips, and good play by Mark Titley. He's done very well, and look who's there, Phil Davis, he's on an excellent game. And David Pickering's got about four men outside, and a lovely scrum half pass, and Hadley Speed does the rest. That's a fine try by Adrian Hadley, uh, to cap the one he scored at Twickenham a couple of seasons ago for Wales. Leaves rolled up, moving into his second season as the Welsh captain. One of the try scorers this afternoon, a good feeling. Phil Davis picked one up. Hadley's had one. And good delivery from Norster. This is Jonathan Davis. Misses out Ben Bowen. Coburn at full speed. The Fiji defenders suck in, and there's room for Pickering to keep running. A vicious handoff on Hughes, and Holmes gets the second or even third phase. Coburn, Hadley, it's just out of reach of the left wing. Big crowd delighted. A pretty full house to say farewell to Speed Fiji on their way home. I should say nearly 40,000 at the National Ground. That's one against uh, the run of play at the lines out for Fiji, taken by Rakaroy, because Perkins, four, and number five, Norster, have been ruling the roost there most of this time. Thirteen minutes of the first half left as Kumbu, Fiji's replacement for the injured Tugula, uh, finds touch. Can you see another try coming along before half-time, Phil Bennett? Well, Wales are really playing very, very well. Their back row is playing there, they're there in numbers. And for me, Terry Holmes is in tremendous form this afternoon. He's really running at the Fijian defence and looking very sharp with his half-back partner, Jonathan Davis. Billy James, one of those accurate throws which finds Norster. That's why Wales get such guilt-edged possession. Mark bravely and accurately called, but Mr. Hillditch says that uh, he wasn't settled. A Wales developed an attack, which yields a try to Pickering. A fourth try for Wales, a second one this afternoon for Tenefi. Bill Davis has scored, and now David Pickering does so. It all hinges on the mark, Phil Bennett, I think. Yes. Uh a debatable point, but Wales winning so much possession, aren't they, from every phase of the game. And Jonathan Davis has kicked a lot this afternoon, put in Fiji under pressure. Now, did he mark this ball, the fullback Kumba? He calls for the mark. He seems to have been awarded it, but the referee waves play on. But you have to look here, who's up in support? There's Phil Davis, and there's Ian Eidman, a prop forward. What good play by him. And David Pickering, as a good flanker should be, supporting and over for the try. That's the kind of feeling David Pickering had at Murrayfield a couple of seasons back, remember? Try scorer. A drop kick restart after the conversion attempt failed. That's Jonathan Davis' screw kick which drifts in field to Jimmy Dumble. Still in Fiji's half. Wales know that this is dangerous. But um, number 10, Arthura, seeming to knock on. The referee lets the play continue. And for only the second time in 30 minutes, PG penetrates the Welsh 22. And I think a lesson for Wales there, Jonathan Davis going for line and length, really where he should have put it safe, and we just showed how dangerous PG can be when they counter attack. PG have uh, Finau at the very back, the captain eight, Teleni, and in the midfield, the dangerous runners Zama and Laulu uh, are not too far from the Welsh posts and goal line. Hughes won the possession, this is Zama. Well tackled indeed, but they restart it, this is Laulau. The ball magically appears in Jimmy Dunham's hands. The Welsh defence is 
Freda Namuro for Fiji. That's the solid prop who scored a try against uh, Newport. And at last, Fiji wins the ball through Hughes, their main line-out man. And it's nice to see them run at the Welsh defence. But isn't it good tackling by Wales? Just bloody Bowen taking him low. And that's where Thama had the bump. And it's, but they support the ball ever so well. They go to cross field, switch in. And there's Namura prop. I thought he'd be exhausted by now. But look at him sprint. He's like a winger there, running at Mark Titley. Wales, 18 points. Fiji, no. Two minutes of injury time have now gone by at the end of the first half. Sensational opening onslaught by Wales and control retained throughout the half. Whitefoot releases. Jonathan Davis tempted to drop at goal, no, tempted to break and put that in going into space. Knock on by the centre, advantage to Fiji through Jimmy Downwood. And now through Kumbu, Lafura. Kumbu is in touch and the Welsh defence was quickly to the breakdown. Good delivery from Vola Vola, the front of the line out. Zama to Lau Lau. This is a, a test for Thorburn, who's absolutely in the right position. He put it behind Arthura, and he's following it up. His fan touch. That was uh, a grand piece of work by the Welsh fullback. The kind of reason why Neath and uh, the Welsh selectors feel such faith in him. It's the last incident of a thoroughly satisfactory first half for Wales. And the home team arrived there with that very healthy lead. Four tries and a conversion to nil. The replacement, Kumbu, restarts the match. And Terry Holmes replies. Fiji have uh, Finno at the back, Seleni is eight, seven is Ngali, five is Hughes. And heavy strapping look on Jonathan Davis's knee, the one that was bumped in the first half. Within the Welsh 10 metre line, good take by Hughes. I think the referee favouring Fiji there by allowing the play to continue. And the tourists make good use of the ball through Kumbu 20. Wales within their 22 and the ball with Arthur now, Zama. Look by Arthur. Good cover by Pickering it was, but still danger from Fiji. The Welsh goal line right in their sights. Here comes Paolo. Arthur, Kumbu. The Welsh cover again is reliable. Hadley tries to come away, but only succeeds in pumping it as far as Mo Nambati. The pickup is by Fino. Fiji's best period of the game. The Welsh defence is back in con control and line-up. But the referee is just waiting to blow as he sees that there's no advantage to Wales. The Welsh hard, hard men, a glimpse of Eidman and Billy James and Jeff Whitefoot. Two from Cardiff, one from Aberavon. Again, a loose clearance. Kumbu to Nabate. The kick slides away into touch. Fiji have Vola Vola right to the front. Rakaroy behind him. Namoro tucked in. Azaley Hughes is going to put in a big uh, leap against Norster. Yes, that's better possession for Fiji. And Ngale and number six, Finau, finished it off. Laulau to Kumbu. Jimmy Damu, no room to move. Titley marked it very closely indeed. Norster, five for Wales. Phil Davis, eight. Pickering, seven. Thinking about a second try. Made the ball available. Holmes swings it away. There are men over for Wales if they move it. A chance for Hadley, he's got to run round the long way. Missed by Ngale. 
supplying a pass to Terry Holmes. Now Wales have got men over on the other side. And this time, it's the turn of Ackerman to put the ball on the deck. Tremendous ball movement and the crowd getting wonderful value for money. Wales contributing to it as well, Phil, but uh, the captain's had a bang. Yes, Wales uh, really spreading the ball wide on both occasions there. And Terry Holmes very much involved and that. that's a bit worrying because if you remember back, it was a knee injury that uh, Terry was out for a long while and he's down on the ground at the moment. Now, I felt Wales should have moved this ever so quickly because they had men spare. But uh, as they get a good tackle from the winger comes in, also the movement. But Titley again at Hadley outside, but he's a bit slow in getting it. So Hadley got, has to go back right from where the movement started across field. And there's men over here. And here's where Terry Holmes gets his, his bang. There he takes his knee away there. That line is the halfway line. Here's Bledin going. Here's Ackerman. Corburn was a decoy run, but Zama has Ackerman. And another example of the kind of high total which uh, was mentioned earlier on. This time, Ackerman the victim. <laughs> Billy James goes to ground. How many defenders have they taken out? Holmes on a bewildering break. Still going. Petey's Goal line 10 metres away. The captain decided to run the penalty. The crowd liked it. Fiji didn't. They were at sixes and sevens. Twenty minutes of the match remaining. Terry Holmes takes a look at Jonathan Davis out on the Fijian 22 line. There is room on the blind side, but the slowness of the heel may have telegraphed the Welsh intentions. Davis, can he get outside his man? Good defence by Fiji. And a try to Wales. The second score for the connecting number eight, Phil Davis. And after initially a good bit of defence by Fiji, they make a mistake, and the number eight is right on the spot. You can see Wales moving it. Bledon Bowen's come across here. And a little bit of luck here, I think, for Wales. Jonathan Davis go for the gap. Grubber kicks. But it goes loose. But just look and see who's there coming along there. Phil Davis, who for me, along with Terry Holmes, and has been, have been the outstanding players this afternoon. The feeling of a man who scored twice, two tries this afternoon to make it 22-0 to Wales with a conversion attempt to come. The kicker is Paul Thorburn. And that's two points. That's a very good feeling for the Welsh fullback because from medium range, he's missed a few in the first half. And from the other angle, we can see the Wales are winning tremendous scrum ball and Bloody Bowen's come across to make the extra man. John Davis goes to the gap. The ball goes loose, and there's Phil Davis backing up as a good number eight should, and he plows his way over. If we can just pay tribute to a Fijian, Phil, I noticed that the tackler at the end on Phil Davis was uh, Paolo, the scrum half. Yes, he's exceptional scrum half, very quick and more there. Oh, a change of tactics by Wales. A late, uh, a late and not very clean challenge on Hadley by Navate, and the referee is anxious to warn him. It's a silly play by Fiji, really, because Hadley's got the ball, and as he chips ahead, it's way out of the look, and he just takes him high. It seems to me that with a lead of 24-0 now, Terry Holmes has decided that Wales can play it Fiji's way. We may see a real extravagance in these final... Here comes Thorburn, Hadley, three defenders to beat, Thorburn supporting, the action back inside the Fijian 22, with Norster involved, Pickering again, Fiji desperate to reach touch, they can't do it, Wales may have men over, Hadley's there looking for work, Jonathan Davis is there, chased by Laulau. 
Nedin Boyan picks up the running, but uh, Raka Roy, one of the Fijian locks, was with the attack. The referee has awarded a penalty uh, out in front of the, uh, the Fijian posts. Yes, when we'll switch the ball on the counter-attack, they were lined up on offside. And uh, good play by Mr. Hildish. He saw that Wales gained no advantage from it and immediately ordered the penalty to Wales. Now, I w somebody should have gone straight here to draw the cover defence. We've got a cross field and not taking any men out of the game. A good support play by the Welsh back, but nobody went straight to draw anybody in there. And the Fiji cover is there in strength. Just a quarter of an hour of the game left. The lead for Wales is 27-0. And this has been an emphatic and businesslike afternoon's work by the men in red. And certainly a lesson for Delaney, as severe as any experience at the hands of the Wallabies. And there's Mr. If you can see the referee is giving a warning to the wing and he's telling the captain who checked marked it after they minded the ball. Let's hope they don't lose their heads now and do some silly things there. That's the second warning Mr. Hildich has given. So the dropout becomes a penalty. Here's Pickering. Mark Davis, the back row, the flankers working together. Ackerman to Thorburn, Hadley. Good change of angle. This time tomorrow, Fiji's prop is back there. So is Arthura and Kumbu. But Wales set the score on the right. Pickering, Jonathan Davis, Titley is held. And the try is awarded. His momentum took him there despite the tackle. And that's the broad grin of a man who was determined to celebrate his comeback with a try. Mark Titley of Swansea takes Wales into the 30s. And this is a truly magnificent try by Wales. They twitched the ball all along the line. And we can see the latter part of the try. John and Davis drawing the cover in. Is Mark Titley going to get there? A good tackle by ja Jimmy Damu. But he's very determined and he gets over the line. Here's Paul Thorburn. Four metres from touch, is he? The kick looks promising. Oh, it's gone in via the woodwork. A fine kick by Paul Thorburn to make a try worth six points, it really deserved to be six. And the man who made this try is Aidan Adley. See how he went outside his man there, and that sheer pace, look him leaving the defence, and he doesn't die with the ball, he moves it inside. And it's all about good support play from here on in, and good play by the referee, because many play the rest of it give the knock on. There's Noster there, Aidan was there, and it's all about just good ball handling now. And here's the last stage of the try, bang, he's over. And a tremendous ovation for Sherry Holmes as he leaves the field. He's had a great game, he's scored a try, he's led intelligently. Now listen to this. That's the biggest single ovation for someone I've, I've heard on this ground for such a long time. Anyway, Wales will have to, uh, to wait a moment and no they won't have to wait long because Raymond Giles appears 18 and he comes on to claim his second cap for Wales Ray Giles from Aberavon joins his clubmate Billy James out there
Paul Thorburn. Three more points. So better than I decided what the crowd was saying was boring. Corner flag of Fiji at the top. The ball was Ray Giles. Good quick strike by his clubmate Billy James. Second shove to suck in the Fijian back row. The line is five metres away. Phil Davis. He's knocked it forward, has he? Fijian's penalised for dropping the scrum. Wales will run this once the red jerseys are behind Giles. Surely David Pickering won't order a kick at goal at this late stage. Five minutes into injury time, Billy James runs off the afternoon with his first try for Wales. That was clinically done, and in a way it symbolises the triumph this afternoon of the red forwards and their physical superiority, Phil. Yeah, this is great for, for the Welsh forwards. They deserve that, I'm sure he's saying, thanks for all the support he gave me. A lovely sight to Brooker, and he's over. Some despondency, excusable as Fiji look out at Paul Thorburn, who's gone back some 30 metres, and he misses. It doesn't matter. Wales have run up 40 points against Fiji, with just a penalty goal in reply. Terry Holmes' side have scored seven 